that's why this is such a unique opportunity. Like it's so rare that we li literally get the opportunity where like it's in, it's sad to bring this up, but it's like Tupac, Biggie. Uh, like maybe you could say maybe you could say Nas, Jay Z, Mike like and Kobe. Well, sure, but they didn't like beef, really get beef. to play each other in prime. Like these guys are yeah, in their well, fucking they prime. They played in their prime, just in the regular season. Was MJ in his prime? That, that's fine. I, that's, okay, fine. That's why it's being used in comparison. It doesn't. It doesn't even. Just, it doesn't even really matter. That's a fine analogy. That's a fine analogy. <laughs> but I think. LeBron. But I think now. Got more rings. Now J Cole conceding in this, I think definitely, like for me, makes me consider. Definitely makes me consider that third position. Hey, I think one. I think it was always debatable, mm -hmm. but it really, like, for example, it really makes me interested in like future in this conversation. Well, for a third, position. I was going to ask you though. Good spirit is is part of this yeah. dude like 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 the pullback because like after the, like like some of the blowback from this was when like like I guess like future and a bunch of like Travis Scott and a bunch of people all like kind of like started publicly going at like Drake pulling like like I'm following him for shit whatever like like not like how it all is. But it's like which, people which, were playing it and shit. That was yeah, the thing, like Rick Ross was playing it. Yeah, car, and, and, and talking the, about, oh, you're talking about the seven drum? No, I was playing uh, the first disc, the Kendrick yeah. disc to Drake and them. That's yeah. what he's talking about when people yeah. start because people and, did it, and, and, and features talk. coming out saying people how, how really Drake alarm. doing too much pillow talk, da da da. Well, and people didn't really align against J Cole from what I could tell. So just to make your point more clear, because I think you make a good point, uh, Paul. I think that was was definitely an important time. But it's actually funny that you mentioned that because I do think that that like kind of line being drawn people really weren't even taking j cole into consideration in that people were choosing do i side with drake or do i side with kendrick right and everyone like, was just kendrick j cole was kind of yeah, like ancillary yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. i kind of put drake in this little box all the way over here and then i was like you go play in the playpen and let the, the, the adults oh man that, that, that man has yeah. that, drake actually has crazy bro, disc he, records bro no, he does i'll be yeah. honest that charge kendrick staying the whole nj like, like michael jackson prince prince comparison perfect yes yeah, really dope perfect yeah. like like that is bro you cannot argue i don't care if you fuck with drake or not you cannot argue everything that he's done musically like 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 he is extremely musically inclined what he has done throughout the industry and for the culture is well documented and, and, and well established yeah so it's like like you have to acknowledge it now kendrick if you want to say who's more talented by far uh, as yeah. far as like an mc it's not even close i think but yeah i mean Drake has been able to come out and drop his own diss tracks, his own shit. I, so I think I push back on that because the other two guys drop less, you know what I'm saying? And they do the same amount of numbers and have almost the same amount of popularity as, the, as Drake. Industry. Yeah. In the music industry. So it's kind of hard because like when you look like, right, you're saying these guys drop an album like every three, four five years. I mean, Drake is dropping almost every year every other year sometimes two or three times in yeah. the year you know we I mean? can say the same thing about wayne though right so it's like i mean well, yeah I think this is even wayne different is the greatest is, rapper on the no world. but this is even different because he's you it, low wayne's an example of you can release it that clip and not all of them are going to be hits mm -hmm. right. so it's like drake drops them and they hit yeah. um so <laughs> not i think everyone though i think but it's for different demographics like i mean literally like, honestly, honestly, you gotta get no, our credit all, no every like, every actually every single one when drake drops an album well, every single song at least last numbers. time this was the, last time all of them were on like the top 300 yeah, no that's numbers. like every single song on the album that's a crazy fun. now now i, now, I, I will like say that. i don't know how much of that is like because like beyonce is off uh, not to get too off topic but like yeah. it's like number one country charts i don't know how much of that's really being I haven't heard that. People still buy play Meek Mill shit. So I mean, listen, I and know. I'm a big Meek fan, but his, you know, his shit ain't been hitting since yeah. a, for a while now. You know, Flamers two point five doing that bending. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bro, did he um, like 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 but, CTE? That bending, <laughs> what what happened bro, with that, that bending bro? he was yeah. doing. I think that though, yeah, I think it's I think it's an interesting discussion. I think now I, I'm definitely anticipating. Uh, something from Drake. I'm curious. You guys all think Drake is going to respond? Spoo, do you got an opinion on that? You think we hear from Drake? I would think so. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I definitely think. Uh, how do you think that he? I'm curious how you guys think he Drake probably responded to the J Cole apology. Do you think he's like whatever that has nothing to do with me, or do you think he that said, kind of probably? Him off? Thank God. Uh, I I I feel like he might be upset because because he saw what this beef was going to bring, yeah, money wise, bro. Th this uh, yeah. this each one of them, whatever they drop, was going to just hit immediately midnight drop everyone's gonna be on it reacting on it because yeah. it, it was getting that buzz so yeah. now with this it might mellow it so he needs to come out with something hot something 2010 oh, hot bro. the rumor is that he's supposed to be dropping on friday thursday night when uh future and metro boom and they're dropping another album oh, don't drop no pussy we watered down album. future too don't well, drop so, no pussy so, so, what do you think you are you terrible. jake are you j cole or kendrick kendrick I'm right kendrick all the way <laughs> i hate i hate j cole honestly, honestly. <laughs> oh my god it, it, it's kind of i feel like i'm in a good spot because i i don't 
none of them are one of my favorites. Mm-hmm. So I get I get to kind of just look at it and be like, all right, who who's making the, the better disc? Yeah. Um, if I had to pick a lead dog in the race, Kendrick's you know verse was. It, it, I mean, yeah. I just know what Kendrick's Kendrick, was only a verse though. I know what right. Kendrick, we gave him a whole able to song in this track. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. You know, and Kendrick's versatility. That's the thing too. People underestimate that man's versatility. That man's fantastic. I think Jay. The thing is, J. Cole. It's I think fantastic. really just had. He literally did the one thing he couldn't do, which was apologize. apologize. Because <laughs> if, if he would have released whatever he released, I think there was a certain level of his fan base that was gonna support him and fuck with it regardless. Right. And hip hop fans that just are soured on Kendrick. I mean, a lot of people could not wait to come out and just shit on to Pippa Butterfly on Twitter for sure. So do you think? Do you think that uh, Cole apologized? To, to 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 slow the burning that's about to come his way. Mm, no, to, I to actually believe him. Slipping Kendrick's about to put I, on that verse. I actually believe what he said. He's uh, by y'all, bro. Yeah, I believe what he said. Uh, you I know, he said, it's who he bro. Is. He even said that's it, not his personality. Bro. He the nigga be dissing, he be dissing motherfuckers all the time, bro. <laughs> no, he hasn't really. I, I, but that's he why has I disagree with you. I really, love for Kendrick. You're going to point out some of these dissings that you're talking about. He's dissing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He dissed NBA young boy. He's dissing motherfuckers. So just he knows. Are not going to go bar Just for talking bar about him. a situation though. I'm not ready to say that's dissing somebody. Like for him to say, like if you diss me, if I diss you, then you'll know it. Like I don't know. Like I don't know that that's a diss. You feel what I'm saying? Like that's not convincing Kendrick, to me. NBA you young know, boy respond. Well, I, 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 I'll be uh, honest. NBA young boy responds to all kinds of shit. Like yeah, it's disrespect. Bro, I, you know I'll, what I'm I'll, I'll be honest. I, I, I will. I will kind of uh, liken yeah. his is this here. This I'm in a drill. The kind of uh, MGK's. I think it was much better. But but MGK's diss to Eminem, where it was like, like he was dissing him by like saying like certain things he didn't like, but at the same time he was keeping it like very respectful, like like oh, like yeah. like like he said like like you're my boy, I got love for you. No, he was cool. Oh, this, I don't want to kill my brother, but da da da. And it's like so again, like that's where I think it's different. I think J Cole like legitimately has love for Kendrick, and then realized like you know this isn't what I want. I don't want to kill my brother. Like at the end of the day, like like what it, it is what it is. He's gonna live his kumbaya hippie style, and this it is what it is. And I think that's fair, but, and I think that he's like. 40 year old he's in his late 30s so he's almost a 40 year old man i get all that growth and all that but he has to understand he's it's hip hop it's yeah. hip-hop. it's right. like yeah go ahead. Okay. no i i want to ask because because i do i do see people have, have that opinion like i i personally j cole's not j cole's not my favorite rapper by any means but i respect like how really good he is in the, the style of technician he is with like mm-hmm. bars and lyrics so what is your hate like why do people hate j cole like like what is it that you hate about him so first, let me admit that there's been times, right, where like I'm listening to like a homie's whatever we're in the car or something, and I've heard it and it was J Cole. There's been a couple times. Like, yeah. I, I can think of two times off the top of my head, but just like the overall character and the pretentiousness makes me oh. want to throw the fuck up. Holier than thou type. Oh shit. I feel yeah. like that. I feel I, that. I don't like Cole, man, because honestly, with Cole, he could go ten times harder than what he goes to, <laughs> and he can he could literally lean into the. Uh, that's how y'all gotta stop putting expectations. No, you know, the thing with Cole is, then, bro. No, because with Cole, he he tries to be because even Kendrick will tap into his street roots. You know what I'm saying, and, and get some of that element in his music. Cole tries to distance himself from that music completely. And if you listen my, to that one, he gets, he gets into that shit. And my, my, problem Compton, with, right? yeah. my problem with, with Cole, no, because I've heard songs where he gets on the track with like actual, like, like you know, street rap, and it sound, it's comp- it's amazing. Have you because listened he, to a whole J. Cole's album? Brother, yes. Yes, I have. Okay, I don't want to put you on the spot. Stop listening to him. Can you I give me one? Like, what's, what's one? Give when, me an example. When, when he had the, where, where's the album with uh, Taylor Two Cities? That's yeah, that's street shit. That's exactly well, that's why I'm curious. My last album I listen to, brother. Every other one is just said he doesn't get into street shit. That's but, but, only, uh, literally cool. Cool. he's the only person <laughs> on that song, brother. I was talking about <laughs> robbing people, brother. <laughs> I mean, that's that's one song on what out of that's five just albums, one example. But, that's the but, one song but, you named, brother. But, but he I wants to be, but to he wants to uplift. He wasn't diverse. Hold on, but hold on, but he wants to uplift, though, right? Like. Like it, it has, your music sounds like one thing, and you give me one of just, the other thing. That's okay, not that's not on. diverse. That's not the only one. Role models is on that album. I'm pretty sure. I mean, yeah. and that, that might not be street shit, but it's grime. He's talking shit. He's talking about yeah. fuck Elvis on there. He's talking shit. Fuck yeah. Elvis, but he doesn't have. Yeah. I don't even know Elvis is alive. Well, no, he talks. He talks Come about on, he talks about basically stealing black people's music and shit. That's like a whole part of the See, role models trash. Oh, shit, but, brother, we need. It some, is. It is. That's who he is, though. Yeah. I I don't understand like 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 why that's a, a negative. He like he why? doesn't have to talk street shit. The other two guys, he wants to beef with will eat his ass up with versatility that's why they will eat his ass up in some street shit some concert shit you want to go bar for think, bar yeah. we'll go bar for bar with you you want a sword fight if you want to say out. bar for bar hey, again hey. which again it's 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 more of a <laughs> uh preference of style yeah. rather than like like i think because again j cole bar for bar 
is one of the best rappers of all time when you look at bar, what he can do bar for bar and lyrically. So, and again, like he has lived the street shit, or at least he portrayed he's and says, it. right? And he's rapped it. Okay, but yeah, he has always been on this whole like I want to uplift more more than more than show that this other side. And that's that's why who he's, he's always been, on TV, right? Which is on cue with his character. That's what I'm saying. Like I can yeah, I can I disagree with it and be like, hey, like like I think for rap and as a rap fan, like like you know, I really was anticipating what this was going to blow up to. But then say, you know what? This is who J Cole has been. I get it. Like again, this isn't no like he truly hates Kendrick. I think like this is like, hey man, I, I didn't mean to like fuck yeah. up. But again. As a fan, I fucking hate the shit. So uh, I just think dude, so you said that he did. So I I disagree, but I kind of agree with your overall premise. So I don't I personally don't see that this is out there, but we'll have to get on onto that off camera. Yeah, um, but good. but this is what I do want to say where I agree with you, and this is one of my biggest issues with it. Is not only is he one of the biggest artists and all that, all that is still true. But he's also an artist that even if he doesn't diss, he's constantly in his raps talking about like nobody wants to fucking rap with me, uh, rap anybody under the table. I'm the best rapper of all time. That's what like I'm this is about. a consistent thing. Okay, well that's not that's not like outright dissing people. No, I'm not saying, saying that's a part of what I'm talking about. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha, no, gotcha. that's yeah. a part of it. You yeah, know what I'm saying? no, I'm with you on that. He's so, very braggadocious he's about having braggadocious. the biggest swinging dick in the room. And uh, yeah, until so the other big dick motherfuckers walk in yeah, there. Yeah. Now you want to sit there and you want to sit there and tuck your tail. But if it was Lil Pump, you say something. It was that boy. You would pay some some. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the we don't know about the other motherfucking but, rappers' careers who so, killed so the people who started. didn't respect. But and that's also though. But well, but the thing is, he did go and diss. So like, if it's like if you pull your fucking gun out, you got to kill me type shit. He pulled his shit out and then he fucking tucked it. <laughs> you know, okay, I'm gonna have to shoot you. You're dangerous. <laughs> like, so it's like, nah, that's, that's not fair. Yeah, yeah he pulled that, out. I was like, all right, you know what? I'm, I'm, I don't need to do fire to through a few I'm rounds. Telling you, I'm telling you, <laughs> he knew that this track was not up to par. And he yeah. knows some other boys are going to come at his neck and yeah. he's trying to stop it before. I'm telling I you, personally felt like it was the thing. Kendrick, I, I, Kendrick I feel like kill that motherfucker's this, career. I feel yeah, like his, stop his, this, though. his diss was on par with Kendrick's, in my opinion. I really didn't think Kendrick's was that crazy. He gave you a bar. He gave you exactly. He only gave you like a feature verse. Really? And, and, uh, and really, and really yeah. be honest, I like he didn't really go. It was just like braggadocious. Shit. It really wasn't that personal. He was playing with him. I agree with that. I he agree with that. With but him. my thing is, is then, he said, let then, me see what you but, put out. But this is the thing. Then J. Cole came back with like the same kind of shit, filling it out. If he wouldn't have apologized, I wouldn't have had an issue with it because I would have anticipated there's more to come. You he's know, like there's a kill violent. shot. Yeah, he's there's a kill shot violent. coming. But the thing is, is like Make him him backing out. Yeah, I mean, that definitely how you view him as a lyricist. I think it's fair for this to affect that lyricism. Part of that is competition. He literally he hasn't had many opportunities. This is what you where people want for. to compete with him. Now, somebody who is arguably and probably most people would have said is above you, Amen. Kendrick, in this in this hierarchy. Preach. Kendrick is above you. He's shooting down at you, and you're gonna actually pass up on the opportunity to take out the motherfucker right above. That's amen. Wild. Some, some people, a man. Some people mature past yeah. the level of I have to prove myself, and, and this right. might be it. Again, like like ah, in physical, ah, physical not, not with motherfuckers <laughs> better. Yeah, it's hey, cop out. It, it, it is a yeah. cop out. Yeah. And again, it, well, like I said, this we did was cop That's out. LeBron You're in hip hop. <laughs> cop out, bro. Yeah, you. But again, like, like, like LeBron, I, I can see why. <laughs> like, I understand it. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. It is definitely a cop out. No, but then that the the thing is, we have to judge that. It's like it's it's not only just that. Oh, I matured past it. It makes us as an MC, just like as an athlete, it makes us look at you now and question. Okay, this was my buddy. I didn't want to hurt his feelings. Do you have a killer instinct for real? And there it you know is. I mean? Yeah, one hundred percent. So can you? So like anybody that we're going to consider the greatest hip hop artist of all time. They've shown that Step whether it be the even them, baby, Jay Z, somebody that like a, a lot of people outside, like in uh, in New York, he's like a god over there. And he actually did, by the way, apologize to Nas, and that's a lot of like the uh, parallels that people have been dra uh, uh, drawing here. Yeah, and you see where Jay Z. But the, guess what? Right? But also, that's <laughs> the thing is also Nas, another killer. Ether is one of the Yo, sickest Nas. fucking diss tracks like, of all time. It also, but by Yo. the way. Jay-Z, before he apologized, at least before the motherfucker apologized, he gave you Takeover and he gave you Super Ugly. Yo, that were disses. So it's like talking about well, someone with, with range and can can, can maneuver. Hey, Nas. Yeah. That's it. And who's you, 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 uh, you see Cole's more conscious than Nas? You see how uh, conscious <laughs> <enlightened <laughs> motherfucker. But you see how he Nas really is looked at. <laughs> look at Nas. Look how the Nas is I looked know, at. I look can. how Jay-Z's looked at, right? Everybody, oh, yeah. Jay-Z's a great musician, but they don't put him on the level as Nas, as a lyricist. Some people do, though. That's right. what I'm saying. You got to, like, if you talk well, to people from New York, the they, put yeah, them, they, they need to live the conversation. He had the stick flow and nice, nasally, like, stuffy voice. And Jay-Z. It makes it sound very good. Jay-Z has some individual verses that I would put up against anybody. He has some crazy, crazy individual verses. But I would agree with you. Overall body of work, I prefer 
Nas. But I think the it's kind of like a parallel to what we are seeing today, where it's like, okay, Jay Z maybe is he's not MJ, but if we were going to compare artists of that time, he might fall into that, and then Nas might, might fall into uh, you know the Prince argument, where it's like the the craft and the artistry is maybe respected a little bit more with them, but the one that's more profitable and all that is obviously Jay Z. And so. the Eminem comes so in as Alan Iverson, like, over hey, MJ? Alan Iverson's wife. <laughs> y'all, put, y'all put Prince over MJ for real. No, no, this is it's a different Bro, thing. It's a different it, conversation. MJ right. plays. Uh, listen, hold on, hold on, let me listen. Hear, let me hear. Prince played eleven instruments on a more, track. I think it was twenty. But I, I, thought, I thought it was twenty, but I didn't want to be a liar. Like, like I knew, like eleven like, was the number. Can't, I heard can't, can't Michael so, Jackson play every instrument though? No, uh, no, no. He's no. not even write his but, lyrics, bro. But Michael Jackson. Are we sure? Mm-hmm. I'm positive on lyrics. when he was in the band when he was younger. He was a kid. Singing, bro. He was a singer. He was singing. His brothers, his brothers, a background and 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 a percussionist. It, I'm not a real big Michael Jackson. He, he might have known how to play the tambourine. 